guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode of Fossil Friday I'm going to be prepping some more of the fossils that came out of the drill core. So I will link down below my Paraloid video where I did prep one of the specimens but today we're going to be prepping a few more because I have a lot to get through. So I'll try and be selective about which ones to show you because I literally have two crates of like layers and layers of specimens that I need to just prep and a lot of them just need like a tiny amount of work and just like a little dab of Paraloid here and there but some of them are really cool specimens. So I'll show you a few. Um, so we've got some really lovely ones that are just completely preserved even though it's only half of the core. You can see it's amazing that we've got pretty much a whole ammonite in half of the drill core. So I did mention before but for those of you who aren't familiar when we drill a core obviously we get a circular diameter but we then slice it in half and one half gets archived for future generations to look at and analyze and then the other half of it gets turned into what's called the working half which is where these specimens have come from so it literally got so if the core it would have been a full circle and it literally got just sawn in half and you don't know if you're going to get fossils in that half or if it's going to be in the archive half so it's kind of a little bit of a lottery but um we did get quite a few so i've got a lot to prep and I'm going to show you some of the cool ones, but these are beautiful crushed iridescent ones. I mean, they're really, really lovely. So you can just see like that. And we put the arrows on the side here so we know that what way up it is. So obviously when we drill a core, we know that up is up. Um, and so we want to like, when it then gets flipped and broken up, it's really important to remember what way up each fragment is. So it's a key part of the sampling process. So I'm now going to prep a few of these and I'll bring you guys with me. Um, I'll just show you another one because I'm getting carried away but here's another lovely one. Look at that! I mean I just find it fascinating that you know you're drilling just straight down and we've got so many centres of ammonites. I think it's <laughs> it's very lucky but it's fabulous. So I will bring you guys over and we can prep a few of these but actually god I'm really bad today I'm just keep adding more and more and more I'm using just a very weak paraloid solution so this is very diluted with acetone probably is under 10% I would say so it's just to do a very small layer of um, just to like consolidate the surface of these fossils because they are in like a mud rock so they're very fragile and basically what we want to achieve is that these are going to stay preserved for future generations to use and study whilst they are stored at BGS. So these are all official samples, they're not any of my own fossils, I'm just doing the curating of them. So um, yeah, let's get to it. So when I say I have a lot of samples to prep, these are the boxes. So they're normally two layers of fossils deep um, and I've got two of these boxes. So it's not hundreds of specimens but there are quite a lot to get through. So I've got all of these ones to do, the ones that are on my table here and then another full double decker box. So it's going to be a long day I think but an extremely fun one. Now the next one you guys haven't seen I don't think, so this one's in two pieces but it's basically just got a lot of little ones but this is the main one so hopefully it will show up with the light. You can see there that we've got a lovely pyritic ammonite. Now that is the main one on that side and then this little piece here just has like a few kind of little ones in it. So this half here just has a few smaller pieces. So this one's a very quick one. I just need to kind of just put a little bit of paraloid on some of these smaller ammonites. So this is the next specimen I'm working on and as you can see the center is covered so I'm going to try and lift that up before I put the paraloid on and then I also have another specimen that's in a similar boat 
so you can see if it focuses for you guys there you go you can see here that I just need to flick off a little bit around the center but overall this one isn't too bad um, as long as it's identifiable then my job is done so I will start with these This is what it looks like with the center lifted off so it lifted off quite nicely it did take me a little bit longer than i expected but apart from that it's a really nice little specimen so i'm just going to put a splash of paraloid on it now and then it's done So there are a few other fossils in the batch as well, so here we have a lovely bivalve that I'm going to put a thin coat of paraloid on. So there's not many, but a few of the more exceptional specimens were also collected um, just to kind of preserve and have them as lovely examples. So I'm going to put some paraloid on this one now. So I'm losing light now, but I thought I would show you all the fossils I've finished today. So there are quite a few, so you would have seen me prepping a few of them, but then I just kind of cracked on because some of it is the same, others are really, really tiny. So I thought I would show you the finished product. So you can see there's a lot of fragments, because with a core, you know, you get just part of a fossil, or if you're lucky, you get the centre as well. But there are some non-ammonites. I mean, look at this crinoid stem. How cool is that? So I didn't finish all of them, but you know, I think that's good progress for one day. So I did all of these. So it is now dinner time and I think it's well deserved. <laughs> Here's just a close up of all the ones I've done. So you can see there's loads of different types. You know, some are really well preserved. Some obviously have been cut through by the saw, but overall we've got some really lovely specimens. And there's some teeny tiny ones you can see down there, but still beautiful iridescent colours, which is very nice. 
just like that. And then we also have some other fossils as well. Um, so you saw the bivalve in that batch. And then this is a crustacean of some sort, which is pretty cool. Then we've got some lovely um, crinoid stems here. And then just lots and lots of ammonite fragments. So these are just all drying from the paraloid. And then I will wrap them all up and they'll be ready to be stored and put away for years to come. So I think that's not a bad batch for one day's work. But um, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe for more if you did and I'll be back with more next week. I'll also link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But thank you again for watching and I really hope you enjoyed.